Okay, so this video is about setting Do Not Disturb on an iPhone. So I'm going to go to the settings choice and I'm going to scroll down to Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb is a feature of the iPhone that enables you to silence it during hours that you specify. So perhaps when you're asleep uh, and you don't want your phone going off with various notifications, text messages, etc. when you're trying to uh, get some shut eye. So if I go to the scheduled choice and push the slider across, I can set the times that I want my phone to be silenced. So for example, I might decide that between 11 p.m. and say 6 a.m. when I get up in the morning, those are the quiet hours. Those are the time. That's the, the between those times when I want my iPhone to not make a noise, to not make a sound. But there are some exceptions that you can define if you wish. If you have favourites set up in your phone, then you can allow calls from those favourites. So you could set your favourites up in your phone, perhaps to be your close family, and you might want to allow calls from them in the middle of the night, for example, in emergency cases. So allow, allowing calls from favourites is a choice. You can also choose it from absolutely any group in your contacts list or in fact uh, from no one if you really want. So I mean some people prefer to just have calls in the middle of the night and nothing else but um, not me. So I'm going to go with allow calls from favourites only. Repeated calls is uh, something that you may wish to use if, for example, it's someone who is calling you is not in your favourites list, but maybe they've tried a second time within three minutes. In other words, they're really desperate to get hold of you. And so in those cases, you may decide to allow calls from those people in the middle of the night as well. You can also define when the phone is silent in terms of usage so while only while iPhone is locked is the usual situation the usual default in other words if the phone is just sitting by the side of the bed being charged and it's locked then the um, quiet hours that you defined will will apply but if you set it to always then that means even if you're using the phone you won't get any notifications so do not disturb is quite a versatile feature I'm now going to go back to my home screen. Of course, I've got no way of knowing at the moment whether um, Do Not Disturb is switched on. But then it's 9.41 in the morning. It's not midnight uh, or 11 p.m. in my case. So how do I know when 11 p.m. happens when the dis Do Not Disturb is actually switched on? Well, to emulate that, I'm just going to go back to Do Not Disturb, and I'm just going to switch the manual switch on. And when I do that, you'll notice a half moon has now appeared just between the clock and the Bluetooth symbol at the top. And you can see that that little half moon symbol denotes that Do Not Disturb is on, even though it's 9.41 in the morning, I've switched it on manually. But that's what you can expect, uh, in my case, at 11pm, when Do Not Disturb happens, a little half moon will appear. In my case I'm just going to switch it off because I want the schedule to take effect. So that is Do Not Disturb. 